This is my new Miros Underfloor Heating Smart Wi-Fi Thermostat. I've already got two of these and I like them a lot. So I'm going to unbox this new one that I'm putting in a different room, show you how to install it and then go through the settings on the app to show you why I think this is one of the best value underfloor heating smart thermostats you can currently buy. Let's go. So today I'm going to uninstall this older, non-smart, pretty clunky thermostat and replace it with the new Miros. First thing to do is to turn off the power to the thermostat, which luckily for me is controlled just down here by switch. Here's the box. Now, this does come with uh, a new sensor for the underfloor heating. So if you're doing a fresh install, you can use the sensor that it comes with. I'm not doing that. I've already got my heating installed. I'm just changing out the thermostat for this. Now it goes without saying, if you don't know how to wire things up or you don't understand electrics, you don't know how to isolate things safely, don't do this, get a professional. I've done this before. So the first thing we're gonna do is undo the screw under here, which is holding this face of plate, face sure plate in place. Let me just pull that plate off. So that's the PCB of the thermostat. Now I'm going to undo these two screws to release this cover. Luckily for me, the screws on the old thermostat are in the same as the new one. So I haven't got to make any modifications. So I'm just going to put you down for a second though while I undo these because I'm finding it a bit tricky to do it one-handed. Okay, so that's the screws out now and we just take the cover off. We can reveal the cable in inside okay so here's the wiring for the uh, system revealed we've got a live and neutral which goes to our mains power hence the little symbol there we've got a live and neutral that goes to our underfloor heating mats which is the load hence load and then we've got two power connectors for our underfloor heating sensor which is in the actual floor itself doesn't matter what way around you wire these, they're just in and out. It doesn't need to be live or neutral or positive or negative. So I'm gonna go ahead now and undo these and get ready to install the new thermostat. Okay, so there's my wires. Here's my new thermostat. And I'm gonna open this case up by unclipping the clips around the fascia. There's the QR code, which we're gonna need later on when it comes to installing through the app, which I'm gonna show you as well. So, that's the back plate with the electrical side. And now we've got our wiring diagram here. Pretty straightforward, it tells us what we need to do just like the other one. Load, power in, sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead now and wire that in. Right, so that's my cables all wired in. Now we need to get the wires back in the box and then we put our screws through these holes which go into the back plate locating holes here and screw this back into the wall. Right, so that's the back plate now installed. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip on the fascia, just a case of locating it in the right place and then push it until it clicks. That's now installed. Now I'm gonna turn the power back on at the switch down below. Okay, so we've got the power now. So we're gonna jump on over to the phone, get the Miros app downloaded and I'll go through the installation process, which is usually pretty straightforward. Do remember that QR code on the top here. When I installed one of these before, I had to use that QR code. For some reason, it wouldn't pick up the thermostat. I'm hoping this time around that will be different. So let's jump on over to the app now and take a look. Okay, so once you've downloaded and signed up for the Miros app, come into it, you can see I've already got two devices here set up. I'm gonna click on the plus button there and then scroll down and find Smart Thermostat. Click on the MTS200 for electric system, which is what I've got. Then go through the installation process. Now, I'm gonna skip the wiring steps. We've done that bit already. Time to connect to Wi-Fi. Now, the Wi-Fi signal uh, icon on the thermostat is flashing, so click on Next. 
If it isn't, just press and hold the up and down buttons on the thermostat for a few seconds and that will reset the Wi-Fi. Okay, it's working this time. I may be, I was maybe too far away from it to pick it up, but it's found it now. So we just select Miros thermostat, give it a few seconds, give it a name. In this case, this is in our little snug room, so I'll call it snug. Next, choose the thermostat icon, connect to my Wi-Fi, which is picked up from my phone settings. Almost done. There we go, connected. And Amazon's already, or the Echo device has already picked up that I've got this installed now. So I can start using that through my uh, Amazon Alexa devices. She's gonna start talking now. So let's go into the smart thermostat, which for some reason hasn't stored the name I gave it. So I'll give it the name again, which is a bit irritating. Hey -oh. so there we go. And oh, that's done. Now there are various things in here that you can change. Uh, for example, you can put a child lock on. So if a kid comes over to the wall and tries to change the settings, they won't be able to until you disable that option in this app. You can change the brightness of the display. Uh, I tend to find they're a bit dim standard on standby. I like to be able to see what the temperature is, so I just turn them up a bit more, save that, and that brings the brightness of the display up. You can set it to go off as well if you want to, in case it's in a bedroom and it's going to annoy you at night time. Uh, different mode temperatures. Um, I won't go into those because I'm going to be using, using the schedule. Um, in here, you can select the day of the week. And you can edit the temperature throughout the day. Um, to whatever you want it to be. You can add new uh, times down the bottom here by just pressing and holding uh, on the timeline there and adding new times. And if you want to copy the same schedule for every day of the week, you just save this one, go back to edit again, select every day of the week, and then click on save, and that copies that across to those days of the week as well. We go back. <coughs> um, we've got temperature calibration here, so if the thermostat say in the room is 22 degrees, but you know it's actually 21. You can just drop down the temperature in the calibration here and it will automatically reduce it to whatever you've set that to be, which is quite useful. Open window detection. So if a window's open, it turns the heating off, although I don't think that works very well. Uh, and the other option in here, which you're probably gonna wanna look at is the sensor option, where it uses either the air temperature sensor inside the wall thermostat and the floor temperature sensor for the sensor in the floor or you can set it just to measure the floor temperature so you can set that to whatever you want but i in this room we're going to keep it on air and floor if you're going to have the thermostat outside of a bathroom you want to have it set just to floor otherwise it's going to be picking up the temperature from the room outside of the bathroom and there you have it the miros smart home thermostat for underfloor heating i've had Two of these already for a year now, and I really rate them. They're brilliant. You can control the temperature of your underfloor heating from being you know, at work if you want to turn it up on your way home, or if you've got excess electricity in your home solar, you can crank it up during the day to make the benefit of that rather than giving it back to the grid. I hope this all helped, and as always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.